Welcome back to Layali Ramadan, our first live segment on SnapTV.me and CutterLiving.com. Our next guest is not only one of Doha's beauty, but she's also the founder of Queens Without Scars, Blessed Healthy Fit. She's a former actress and model. I would like to welcome Yazina Navdo. Yazi, thank, thank you for being with us here on Layali Ramadan. Thank you very much for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> Usually you're the presenter, this time you're being interviewed. Yes. So we are going to ask you some questions about what you do. Okay. So first tell us, how is it being an expat and non-Muslim here in Qatar during the time of Ramadan? I have five years living in Qatar and the first year was really hard because I was not uh, used to the weather, the really, right. really hot weather. And I was with three little babies and I didn't know anything about uh, the religion or nothing at all, so it was really hard. And the next uh, two years, uh, the second and the third year, it was still hard, uh, yeah. but uh, it was, <laughs> but it was better. Okay. Um, but you know, I used uh, to be in a diff completely different country, but now that I'm living in Qatar, I, I love the, the culture. I love. Ramadan. I love that people get together with their family, uh, that they help each other and it's something that I used to do in my life, helping others. So it's really nice to go driving on the street and see all these big huge tents that w where people, workers can go and eat, eat. And, and have a nice uh, iftar or suhoor. So one of the things that a lot of expats sometimes complain about is when things are closed. And a lot of things are closed during the day and then they reopen at night. Do you ever find that difficult and challenging? Yes, at the beginning it was difficult because I don't know about timings or anything. So now that I have five years in Qatar, I know that I have to go to the supermarket in the morning of course. or at, eight, at night. And because kids still going to the school, yeah. they are not sleeping all day. They have, I mean, we have to continue with our normal life. Yes, of course. So, uh, I mean, we have to learn to respect the, our brothers and sisters, uh, Muslims in Qatar, and obviously don't eat outside or drink outside or do in front of others. In schools are different, but um, we have to learn to appreciate the country where we are living now. Like, yeah. I, I, I love Qatar. In Qatar, I, as I always say, Qatar is the country for, for, to make your dreams come true, it's a safe, it's quiet, it's beautiful, it's growing, and we are growing with, with Qatar. Course. So for me, for my, my family, my children, me, it's, it's, it's really nice to learn all this and, and grow with, with this country. So, Yezi is known to be doing many things, yet she has a family, and she works, and she does she's healthy, she has fitness, and she's part of so many different things. How do you manage and balance work, life, and family all at the same time? <laughs> I have no idea. It's the same question I do all, every day. But I think uh, I try to... It's not hard. You can find the time for everything. For example, uh, we'll... What is your normal day like as you like? You wake up and what happens? So I try to wake up at 5.30 a.m. Okay. But not... Actually, my kids wake me up. Early. Like, Mommy, let's go to school. <laughs> uh, but I try to wake up before them. Uh, my nanny helped me to make the breakfast and everything else. So I took the kids. I take the kids to my to the school, and then after I drop my kids, I go to the CrossFit one hour. I try to have my breakfast, and I have always different activities. Sometimes I have a, a film with Snap TV. Sometimes I have to a fashion show or a photo shoot. So I try to do my photo shoots in the morning when my kids are at school mm -hmm. or uh, evening after my kids have their lunch or homework. So you must be very organized. I have to be very organized. Yeah. If, you, if I show you my, my, my agenda, Day it will planner. be crazy. I have everything planned, everything planned. So recently you started becoming very healthy and you started doing CrossFit and it's changed your life because now you incorporate it within your daily, your daily life. So what can you, what can you tell the viewers what um, advice can you give the viewers about keeping and maintaining a healthy lifestyle while doing all the things that we do here in Qatar? I think uh, we 
lose a lot of time doing things that are not good for our body or for us. For example, eating. I eating. Uh, I, eat, you, I love food. Okay. I love food. You can ask my friend there. <laughs> <laughs> I love food. But uh, for example, I promise there is people in Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook more than 30 minutes. Mm. So if you go to the gym 30 minutes, yeah. or if you go to the gym one hour, it's more than enough a day and I can promise you will feel better. When you work out, you take care more of your diet, you take you sleep earlier. Like for example, I heard my knee three months ago, not in the CrossFit, doing another things. So I stopped working out for three months. I lose weight, but the weight I lose, it was my muscles. Yes. So it's not nice. And I sleep worse. I, I couldn't sleep properly. I was like uncomfortable. I started having uh, uh, junk, um, junk food. <laughs> Shh, don't tell the calories. <laughs> At least 20 minutes a day. Yes, and at least 30 keep that minutes. In our daily schedule. So one of the things Yazi and I both have in common is following our passions. Um, both of us have have done several different things. Uh, Yazi, you are involved in many different initiatives, uh, working with children, working with abused women. Um, when did you start getting into this? And when did you start feeling the need to start letting people aware of these? important issues? I think it's thanks to my parents because um, since I was uh, really really young uh, they always like for example on Sundays we my mom just to make uh, sandwiches and then we go on the street and give it to the poor people. Wow! And I remember before Christmas uh, we took our uh, toys yeah. out and give to poor children and because in Christmas we will receive more. Of course. So for me, helping others is a blessing. And it's, it's not only to make, make, help other people to get followers or be famous. The best thing you can do is help others and don't tell anyone else. Yeah. There are, uh, there are many things I'm, I'm doing that people know because I need, I need Support. support. For, for example, for Queens Without Scars, that is a... What is Queens Without Scars Queens about? Without Scars is a no-governmental uh, NGO. Yes. We raise awareness about violence against women and domestic violence. We have 14 countries working now in, in um, Queens Without Scars, or Reinas Sin Cicatrices in the Latin countries. Um, and it's growing. I'm really happy and I feel so blessed for that. Um, so for me, helping others, like I was part also of uh, Night for Nepal. We raised uh, money for with the Qatar charity, Qatar Red Crescent, for the, the, the earthquake in Nepal. Also helping the workers in the industrial area. And all. every time I can help, is I, I, will, I will do it. Where do you see yourself five years from now? I would love to be working with Queen's Without Scars near to United Nations Women. Inshallah. Uh, hopefully I'm going in September to Egy Egypt. Yeah. I have been invited to one uh, congress there and I will be talking about uh, Queen's, Queen's Without Scars so I hope I can go to more uh, congress or talking about domestic violence and raising awareness about violence. And do you find there is a lot of domestic violence uh, abused woman here in the GCC, or is it not as common as maybe in other parts of the in part of parts of the world? I think it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Everywhere there is violence everywhere, but uh, in Qatar we are very safe. Yeah. We people respect uh, women. Yes. And it's different. It's different. So that's why uh, I, me, Jesse. Here I learned to respect myself more than out, outside. Like, as I say always, uh, I learned that I don't have to show more or be revealing to feel to feel confident or to feel uh, like yourself. good. Yeah. Yes, like first of all, I can wear a avaya and and, and I feel like elegant <laughs> and and nice. And uh, in Qatar, I think. Um, Fashion is really important, so... And for all the fashion lovers, can you tell us what you're wearing today? 
Well, I'm wearing a baya from Divac that is very beautiful. I love it. I took this baya to my competition in Jamaica for the United Nations uh, competition where I uh, won the United Nations World Ambassador. Wonderful. And I, you know, I always mix because I'm not married with brands. Yeah. So I'm, I'm wearing Valentino shoes. Yeah. I'm wearing a Riva skirt and a mango top, <laughs> and obviously my gold soleil bag. <laughs> and I mix everything. Um, obviously, I, I like good, good quality products, so uh, this is a very good uh, avaya that I can wear anytime. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you very and much. And it's such a pleasure to have you and to have you on our show, Leal Ramadan. Thank you so much for spending the time and coming here with us. It's we'll my be right pleasure. back after this break.